Yo, 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 it's Tuesday morning, 7 o'clock. About to go to my business networking group, which is like 35 minutes away. Have a meeting with one of the guys afterwards who's a business advisor for like startups and small businesses in the area. And um, could be a huge meeting. He's like probably like 65, 70, but he's been doing this for a while and has a lot of connections to these businesses. And he's like, all the people I advise literally have no social media, need websites, need this and that. Um, he seems pretty up to date in regards to the things I'm offering and understands the concepts. So it should be interesting. Um, you know, I probably won't be back until like 10.30, 10.45. So it definitely takes up a chunk of my day. You know, like four hours from being up from 6.30 to 10.30. Um, I'm trying to still see if this is profitable and worth it because four hours of my time, you know, 16 hours a month, it does add up. So that's where I'm at. Then I have a bunch of uh, things to do, you know, same to do's from yesterday. I'm just banging them out and, you know, trying to get this email thing up and running, trying to put more time into unique. Those are the main priorities. And, um, you know, I close that deal with Maggie. So that's going to be on the to-do list. And if I close this other monthly retainer, that's going to be a to-do list as a priority. But, um, you know, on the grind, on the grind, on the grind, doesn't stop. Yep, just got out of uh, my business networking meeting. It was uh, definitely pretty sweet. I had a meeting with a uh, one-on-one -on -one session with this guy named Mike. He's actually a small business expert and he has 250 clients where he literally goes into small businesses and pretty much says hey i have 20 years of experience of running a business and this is exactly what you guys need to do in regards to finance projection managing the whole a to z guide and he wanted to sit down with me to see what services i had to offer and know me a little bit better to see how he can or incorporate you know social media facebook advertising into his business he's been in it for 30 years so me speaking my language to him even though he's an older guy he understood it completely and um, you know, I'm very curious to see what happens through this. Um, it could be a huge, huge, huge lead generation. I have a couple of other meetings set up with people in the business networking group. Um, you know, the more you show your face, the more they get to know you a little bit. And these one-on-ones, you know, they're like 30 minutes, give or take. And now, you know, these people that you just introduce yourself to for 60 seconds in the middle of, on uh, the beginning of the meeting, now become your friends and hopefully a huge lead generation. So right now I'm about to uh, shoot some content for the vape juice lines, Driplet and Lemon Drop. I'm in the uh, state park in my town, which is beautiful. I'll probably show some clips. Then I'm gonna go back to my house, edit the photos, and get back to work. So, and, you know, he said it, whatever fucking problem happened to Bob, I haven't heard from him since. And I was gonna see what it would cost me or want me for you to just get my site up to par 100%. Just got finished up shooting content, lost my fucking lens cap, which sucks because I think these things are like 15 bucks if I can't find them cheap from eBay. But about to make lunch and get back to work. Peace. Yo, productive, productive. Edited all my photos for Lemon Drop and Driplet. Send it to my worker to outsource and post for me. About to run to the gym. Um, I also had a phone call with this woman, Emila. I think that's how you say her name. But she owns um, a skydiving, indoor skydiving jumpsuit. And she uh, flew for private jets for 10 years and has all these connections in the industry and whatnot with skydivers. And she's looking for someone to manage her social media and create a website. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we definitely connected on the phone. That could be another residual client and a nice website sale for e -com, cause that's the pricey ones. Just cause you have to integrate all the payment processing via PayPal and Stripe. But uh, about to go to the gym, come back, eat food, then uh, go back to work. Got out of the house a little bit today, but uh, you know, work, 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 work. All pays off in the end. Yo, yo, it is Wednesday morning, and I had a horrible late start to my day. 
I set my alarm, I woke up, and I have a timer I usually set for like 20, 30 minutes, like snooze, instead of clicking the snooze button, but I forgot to click start and slept for another two hours. Um, thank God I woke up in time because I did not want to meet this meeting because I have a meeting with the vice president of FM Home Loans, which I'm leaving in 15 minutes, which I got to make this intro quick. After that, I am banging out my to-dos, going to the gym and working all day. Today's definitely not going to be a... Uh, Interesting day is just a lot of work chilling out the computer going to the gym eating food working at the computer eating food and Working at the computer all day tomorrow um, I have a service to go to I'm missing Propelify and um, I haven't been doing these nightly recaps because uh, my best friend has uh, Come up from South Lake Tahoe because his father passed away. So um, during night. I've been hanging out with him and his brother um, you know just doing what you gotta do in life, be grateful. But I'm um, about to make breakfast and get to the grind and drive a half hour to this office. Peace. Yo, that meeting was great. Uh, I was one of the people from my uh, business meetings. They need a complete social revamp and um, we'll see what happens. I gotta type up a, a proposal for them, send it to them, but I'm pretty sure they'll be hiring me because they just, worried about their business they have no time to worry about social media but she knows exactly what she needs to do she wants to brand herself she wants to do webinars YouTube videos Instagram videos Facebook videos Facebook live videos so she understands what she needs to do she just doesn't have the time the creativity to implement it then uh, now I don't know I passed these dope train tracks um, on my way driving home I'm in like suffering New York right now so uh, gonna go snap some pics real quick and hopefully uh, not get arrested Yo, yo, just got back from the gym, um, had a productive day so far after the meetings and whatnot. I uh, sent out a bunch of proposals, finished up all my to-dos, all the edits on the websites. So now my main focus is finalizing the videos for the email, uh, finalizing the videos for the Facebook ads I'm gonna be running, telling people why their website sucks and why they need a mobile-friendly website. Then I have a whole email marketing campaign that's gonna go with it. Then I'm putting all my focus on Unique. I'm in the process of closing four to five social media clients with retainers from anywhere from $500 to $1,500 a month. If they all close, I'll be stoked because my income is literally gonna like times by three which would be huge, where I'm steadily like sitting at a nice income, then it's to the point, like let me manage these, get these up and running smoothly for two months, add a client or two, then I'm gonna start you know, hiring people. So I'm very pumped, this business networking group is going great, life's going great, no complaints, um, I'm freeing up some more time in my schedule to concentrate on DGACs, clothing, branding, more content, personal brand, which is all long-term play, Right now, the money is coming through the social media agency or the digital e media agency. So uh, shit's going well, I'm pumped. I'm about to go to my boy's house right now. Um, I'm putting together a slideshow for his father's service tomorrow because we don't want any of that corny bullshit with the, you know, donate your money to the kids music. So, you know, we're putting some U2 in there, his favorite songs, you know, and throwing some cool transitions, you know, to celebrate his life. So I'm looking forward to doing that for them. Then uh, they have a bunch of free food. Now they have a bunch of food they're gonna be, uh, <laughs> eating there as well so uh, but for that then um coming back home sending out these proposals finalizing them sending them out then um tomorrow i have to go pick up some more dgac shirts got to go to the vphq to shoot some content pick up my checks hang out with them a little bit so i'm pumped things are going great things are progressing and um you know i always say you know the harder you work the luckier you get the more you put yourself out there the more people you meet the more you tell people about what you do the more people know what you do and the more opportunities and the chances you get to build networks, to build business connections, to build relationships and build your income. So everyone out there who's hustling, just don't give up. The shit takes time, it takes practice. And at the end of the day, you gotta be a salesman. You gotta sell yourself, sell your service, but people buy you. They don't buy what you're offering, they buy you. They buy what you say, how you present yourself, how you look at them in the eye, how you take what they say and interpret it into a language that's presentable to them in any sort of business. But about to go to my boys, then uh, maybe I'll talk to you guys later. If not, peace. Until tomorrow. 
Yo, yo, it is Thursday morning. Uh, about to make some moves, make some breakfast. Gonna go to the Vape HQ, then shoot over to uh, my screen printer guy. Then I got a service today, so I don't know if today's gonna be the most productive day, but I do have some things I need to bang out. I'm gonna send out all my proposals and whatnot. Then um, I'll keep you guys updated. Probably gonna drink a little bit tonight in celebration of my buddy's dad. Then um, tomorrow is gonna be a straight work day. Then go into my brother's graduation in Rochester, New York. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Peace. About to walk into the vape store, shoot some content, have some lunch with the guys I used to work with, then uh, head into Union City to pick up the DGAC shirts that uh, he printed up after he came back from vacation. So uh, let's get the money. In your Union City now, about to walk upstairs and uh, pick up some uh, extra DGAC shirts from the dude that prints them up. Uh, just got dark as fuck. Some new stuff. Yeah, dude, everyone's loving it. Yeah? Yeah, it's real clean. Everyone's digging the tie-dye for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially that one hoodie that you were saying you liked a lot. Oh, man, those tie -dyes. Yeah, right? Sick. Ooh, nice. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, that's Yo, it's Friday. Um, Not going out tonight. Had a very, un not unproductive, but, you know, losing two, three hours, four hours a night, four or five days a week, four days a week, 16 hours. You know, that definitely puts me behind the curve a little bit. But I'm pretty much caught up with all my to-dos, just finishing up these last little things. Have three websites that are going to be in the queue for next week. Have a photo shoot and whatnot. But um, today's going to be one of those days where I sit in my room, work all day, go to the gym, come home, work all day. Not going to be an interesting day for the vlog, but you know, that's how it is sometimes. Tomorrow, going to Rochester University to watch my brother graduate college. So I'll get some footage there, but uh, talk to you guys later. A pretty big phone call through Craigslist leads. If anyone has a business and you're not posting on Craigslist, you're missing out on a shit ton of money. It's one of my best lead sources, to be honest. But this guy, his father owns a private label cosmetics company, and they're looking for someone to run the Instagram, Facebook for the company. They need a new website. And the son also just started his own private label company where he needs someone to run their Instagram and Facebook. So those are two potential clients and a website deal all through Craigslist, which could be, you know, I told him $1,500 for the website. It's probably gonna be around $800 a month to do the social media. And you know, just through Craigslist could just be a $10,000 a year thing right there. So I need to start recording my phone calls so you guys hear me on the phone, see how I close, see how I talk to the people because I could sell ice to a fucking Eskimo. And I uh, just wanted to keep you updated. Sit in my room. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Random phone calls, Craigslist leads. Start posting three times a day, every day, 21 times a week. That is 80 something times a month. Then you could click renew on the ads, which is dope. So I literally have probably, I don't know, 200 Craigslist leads that ads up right now, all for free. So do it, you can literally make six figures just through Craigslist if you are consistent and create multiple accounts with different IP addresses and proxies. So. Back to the ground.